Hey, Orange One here, and today is the day, I think, that we will get uh, some people going to Narco's Trap. Basically, I think we're sending... Um, we're sending Parm up into the Iron Valley. I'm pretty sure that this place has a ton of robots and stuff that uh, spawn in here. And we'll send Igor as well, kind of up there. And we'll see what we find. I think that up here we'll find um, some skull, um, some spiders that we can turn into iron plates. Oh wait, hold on. There's one right there. Actually, I think there's two of them. So, Parm. Maybe I'm going to just have you hang back for a minute. I have red main... What are you doing right now? Or was it Fe Feta was the one that had... Yeah, no. They've they've used up all the iron here. I think... Given that uh, Feta was just looking at something... We'll be able to get this going pretty soon. Um, I think we just need Igor to basically get there. And Igor should get there pretty quickly because he does have a... Masterwork leg there that boosts his athletics. The stealth leg also does. I mean, I might have you actually get another um, stealth leg just to help you be a little bit faster. Arm, uh, just make sure you don't lose these guys. It doesn't look like they're going anywhere. I just don't want you to 2v1 them. It seems like a bad idea. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, but with Igor, I'm feeling pretty good. And once we get that iron down here, we might leave um, Nishi back. Or actually maybe a prince. I'm not sure. Because we'll have someone doing crafting. I think we could leave Nishi back here. And he could have this little place set up. And we'll send the princes. But then Tanishi, he does have some really good stats. So maybe we'll have all the princes going. Yeah, I'm I'm excited because I've been waiting for a while now. Is this like oil slick on the ground right there? That's totally oil slick. So did y'all come from someplace or something? I'm very confused. It's it's quite mysterious how there's just like iron spiders just standing around in this biome. I'm pretty sure if we had gone to the Iron Valley in the first place. We would have found what we were looking for pretty darn quick. Okay, Igor is almost here. And then he's just going to chew right through them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there, there he is. I might distract one of them with Parm and then send Igor in for the actual attack. Uh, that polearm's pretty much trash, so I'm just going to have you put that down. That is an amazing sword. Might that make that your normal weapon? Uh, there we go. So Igor, why don't you go over here? Arm, you go over here. And Arm's gonna distract this one while Igor attacks that one. Do I let Parm actually get an attack in? Yeah, we gotta let him get an attack in. Uh, take those. And see if you can help out Parm, because I think he might need it. No, he's actually good. Cool. Um, I'll take it. And I think I'm going to toss some of this rotten meat as well, just so that we can carry the rest of this. I don't think we'll need to be carrying um, too much more, but... What if I move that over yet? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely room in here. We just need to be smarter about how we're allocating our resources in in space. Uh, no. What if I... no. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get those electrical components, but that's okay. Because we have enough to get our our industry up and running. Um, just get one more. Why not, right? And the two of you, at your own pace, can come back. And then... I'm not really sure what to do with Silas right now. We could have him just kind of hang out for a little while at the base and try and recruit these guys. Yeah, that seems like a good use of our time, doesn't it? Uh, 
is this dude that we've been trying to recruit for a little while now. Just making sure, yeah, he's got no weapon. Talk to him. Oh, wrong button. Oh, we got another hyper. Nice, cool. Um, I have no idea what to name this guy. Um, literally the first thing I looked at was my harmonica. So we're gonna name you harmonica. <laughs> If you if you want me to name some hivers after you, let me know. Put that in the comments because I have no idea uh, what to name my guys at this point. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm now to the point where I'm naming them after things that I see. So, <laughs> if you got suggestions, let me know. I would be happy to name one after someone. Um, harmonica, you're missing a right leg. Oh, nice. There's a specialist right leg right there, actually. Um, sure. Harmonica, I hope you get to come with us on an adventure soon. Because with that leg of yours, you could be pretty useful. Um, oh, we also still have these masterwork limbs here. I completely forgot about that. It's kind of random. I'm yeah, glad I, I looked at that. Um, this? You're operating a machine. It's empty. Oh, we need fabric. Right, right. I do remember that now that we had this producing fabrics. Um, but there's no one on it right now. Can I tell someone to operate that if possible? I'm sure that we have hemp around here. Okay, so that's out of resources. That's kind of a problem. Um, it says growth rate is zero on one of them. Let's transfer some water over. It, it does drive me crazy how the game has like problems like that with keeping track of it all. Uh, can we move that up on list of priorities? Because we do need the hemp taken care of. Uh, where's... I mean, Harmonica, I think, is going to be an adventure, so we'll not have you work on that stuff, but we should probably give you some gear. I mean, it's not going to be the best of the best, but it'll be better than nothing. It's not going to be the best of the best because we're not producing armor really right now. Okay, let's do that. Sure. Don't really have anything else for you. Uh, we could go with a dust coat. You could be a super cool hiver. I mean, it's appropriate. You do have the name Harmonica, you know. Sure. Uh, who's getting attacked? The Igor? I don't think it's Igor. Okay, Igor is most of the way back. So hopefully we'll be able to um, head up to Narco's Trap. I do feel like we should have more cybernetic people before doing that. Um, Red main could run you over to Black Desert City in the Scrap House and just see if we can get more cybernetics. Because I do think we should set up a peeler over here and we're going to need someone um, buying the, the robotic limbs from there, you know? Okay, so what's the deal with this? That needs water. Did we end up building the well? Yes, we do. Have that well going. Uh, Benedict, or who's going to be the one that ends up staying behind? I think. Uh... I think. We'll go with someone who doesn't have as many cybernetic limbs, because they're essentially less valuable to me. Um, well, Jack. Nice. Okay, um, Jack, if appropriate, do this. Uh, yeah, above pretty much everything else. And you got water. Good. Cool. Alright, well, we should start making some rice weed. We just need some green fruit now. <laughs> Uh, Igor and people are starting to work on that. Cool. Good. 
Yeah, we're going to need a few hivers here, realistically. I think if we just have someone working inside of the building, um, they could do like hydroponics and make some various products there and then occasionally run over. Um, so, yeah. I think pretty much everyone besides Jack is going to go on this adventure. Uh, come over here. And yeah, we'll we'll get this working as as it's needed. We do have that little copper or iron resource there. Okay, Fort Monroe's getting stuff built. Good. Um, I think we've got pretty much everyone. To everyone besides Jack. You gotta get rid of your jobs. And we're gonna get ready to go to Narcos Trap. It's an exciting day. We've been waiting for a while to do this. Kind of moving a little slow though. I'm not really sure why that's the case. Uh, let's go ahead and tell people to run at their own pace. Let's see who's the slowest here. Pet. Okay, um... Well, of course Igor's gotta take Pet, right? It's the owner. There we go. Everyone else seemed to be going pretty much the same speed, so I think that we're okay going up to Narco's Trap around there. I think Narco's Trap is its like somewhere around here, isn't it? If I say go to there, let's see what we end up finding. And we'll follow them in their, their little adventure. So Jack... Um, yeah, you're just getting water. And then you'll be harvesting food. And we should also probably um, make a little grog station and get green fruit. Maybe Jack, we could send you to go get green fruit. I don't think they sell green fruit in the um, the swamps though. Not sure. We might have to run someone up from uh, Fort Monroe. Why don't we just get Silas to just do that? Um, and Trill, you can come with us. So go get Trill. First of all, because Trill is our noble bodyguard that is running away from us like very fast. I don't know where are you going, Trill. Calling to Here, go pick up Trill. There we go. And let's go get some green fruit if we have some that's just kind of standing or sitting in. Yeah, we need more water. That's that's the big picture of what I'm seeing right now, is that we don't have enough water. And we do have some water that's being produced there, but these things need to get built. Um, no green fruit. Mm -hmm. Do we have a little... I feel like by the cooking station we might have put like a little storage unit of green fruit. Yes, we do! Nice. Okay, so, Silas, we need at least 10 of those. I think you, you might be able to hold 10. If not, uh, we can give some to Trill. This, I feel like we should be able to fit another one. Do that, and then... I don't know. I think that that's probably as many as we can get, right? Yeah, I think that that's all that you can take. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah we'll be able to get enough. Cool. All right. Um, Silas and Trill go up to the Black Desert City base. We'll get some green fruit production going. Um, oh, wait, hold on. The gate's closed. Whoops. Let's open that up. We'll head out. Oh, man. Like, I've been waiting for so long to get out of here and getting out of that Black Desert City base and get it, like, so that we have some food being produced and water and all that stuff. But now that we have that, it's going to have, you know, a reliable economy, essentially. Um, maybe I should... Nah, we can leave wheat. I was thinking of trying to have wheat and um, Reth come with us. Tell you what, Reth, I'm going to move you up in the squad. You're going to go right there. 
Uh, Wrath, how's your gear? Oh, you still have awful, awful gear. Like, seriously, what is, what's the deal with that? Yeah, I, I do, I do remember, I think it was actually, um, DC. You were putting that I should have a lot more food production in the copper mine and then ship it over. I totally agree with you that that would be more efficient, but that would require me sending people between these two. And I kind of feel like the copper mine and Fort Monroe are pretty much set up. That being said, I do have to, um, you have to get uh, copper over here every once in a while. Speaking of which, um, we may need to do that right now. Uh, let's see. Who would be over there right now? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Christian. Who do we have here? Beef has a new leg. Maybe Beef could run back. Yeah, you've actually got two robotic legs. Huh. Interesting. And they're not like the speedy legs. They're like the tough ones, but that should do. Oh, look, we actually have a, a stockpile of food here. Huh. Very intriguing. Um, get those. Wow, you really can't carry much, can you? Does anyone have a backpack here? No. Okay, well. Beef, why don't we have you run over with the very few electronic components that you have. And that's good. Maybe we'll find someone with a backpack. And we'll send them over there. I need more backpacks, man. Like, for real. Uh, Ezia, you got like a crummy regular left arm there. Is there... I'm just curious. Um... The robotics expert not carrying anything. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they are in desperate need of um, copper here. Must have missed that. Oh, wow. People are actually starving. They're getting to like the point of starvation at our base. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do need to get uh, the copper mine sending food over here. I might do that. Send food and electri electrical components over here. Um, where was Ezia? You have unnecessary things in your inventory. If we are having you do a little supply run for us, um, why don't you dump some of the stuff here? And I don't really need that. I do want to keep all this though. We don't need the crummy weapon though. Okay, um, Ezia, we're gonna send you over there. You're gonna get us more, more electrical components and maybe some chew sticks. Maybe we'll just take their extra chew sticks since they have enough food over there right now. I think they could spare it. I just don't want to have to do that, like, constantly sending people back and forth, you know? That seems, like, unnecessary and incredibly annoying to me. I'd rather just, like, send people off to go attack places. I say as I, like, have just built a base <laughs> by the Black Desert City instead of actually uh, going for my objective. I like to think that, like, Igor went rogue. And, like, Silas was like, Yo, Tanarko's trap. And uh, Igor wanted to spend, have, like, a little uh, time with Pet. Like, in the... Have, like, a little hut in the middle of nowhere. It got built. But then Pet started complaining. It was like, hey, we need... Our, uh... Our hive needs us. Go do this. This mission, this Narcos Trap mission. I honestly have never been to Narcos Trap, so I'm not exactly sure where it is. 
I think it's somewhere like around here. So we're just gonna kind of go up here, see if we find it, and then we'll kind of come back down on that side as needed. I'm pretty sure that it's somewhere around here. Holy Nation Mine Ruin. Huh. It could have some interesting stuff in it. How are you doing, Silas? You're still moving over, bringing that green fruit up, huh? I probably am going to forget about that. Um, unless I keep an eye on it. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Oh man, so I did like a ton of yard work today and I totally messed up my back. Like, I was pulling ivy and within like probably five minutes of me getting started, I like messed up my back. And then like I was being stubborn and was like, well, as long as I'm being careful and not pushing my back too much, I can still like take up blackberries. And that was actually okay. But now that I'm done and like I've stopped moving, I'm basically like locked into my chair at my desk. <laughs> I like seriously can't move. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. Okay, we're in a dust storm. Great. I literally can't see a thing. You know, whenever I'm in dust storms in this game, I tend to not zoom in like that, but that was actually kind of cool seeing it from that perspective. Um, we got well, it's just gotten constructed. Yeah, I think that now that other that refinery got upgraded to a better refinery, that we should start getting more iron, and then we'll be able to use that on other things as well. Okay, has that? Yes, yeah, so this has reached the destination. Is your who are you getting attacked by? Is it like a beak thing or something? Yeah, it's a beak thing. Ezio, do I want you to attack it? I mean, you could probably handle it. And I think that we're not going to be able to get away. How's your weapon? Yeah. Yeah. Just don't die, please. I think that we got this. I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. It's like paralyzed, essentially. Um... Sure, why don't you get some meat? Just mostly because you're hungry yourself. And I'll probably actually dump the meat once we get to uh, our little base. Holy Nation Mine Ruin. There's Wow, there's actually a ton of ruins up where we're sending people up in Skinner's Rome. Huh. Is it right there? I feel like it's right there. That looks like a special little spot there. Okay, Ezia, yeah, you're going to ditch those resources and the food actually right now. So that's perfect. But you know, it, honestly, I'm not even mad about my back because um, I kind of did a similar thing last week. My back. Um, where I did some yard work. And my back was bothering me. Not quite as bad. It wasn't as sharp of a pain. And it kind of went away after a day or two. And I suspect the same thing's going to happen with my back uh, right now. It's like it's really, really bothering me right now. But I can still kind of function as a person. And so I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah. Um, oh, you guys are just shooting your bolts. Good times, eh? Good times. As you... Uh, uh, get these electrical components, man. As many as we can. I really need a trader's backpack. I should probably try and take out a trade caravan or something. Like the Southern Hive. Um, hold on. Yeah, you can fit another one there. Cool. I think that's all that you're going to be able to fit, though, unfortunately. Um, do we want to bring home chew sticks? Nah. They'll be fine. If I really need to, I can send people out hunting when once people start passing out. Uh, beef, how are you doing? Oh, hold on. Come over here, Beef. Don't get shot, please. 
I'm actually impressed that you didn't get hit by that last bolt that someone just fired at the thing. Get in here. Okay, it's down. Uh, beef, you were bringing those electrical components. I think you're probably just going to ditch them. Yeah, cool. Alright, well, Beef's back home. Kind of nice. Uh, Silas, you're up here. I think you're probably already dropped off the green fruit. So, let's see. Um, yeah, Silas is here. It looks to me like the green fruit has already been dropped off, but I just want to confirm. Uh, ba -ba. Wait, where's the green fruit? Silas, what did you do with my green fruit? Like, for real. I'm kind of really upset right now. Because I sent you all the way up here with a backpack full of it. I might have to go to the smuggler's bar. It looks like I have to go to the smuggler's bar. Um... Can I give that backpack to Silas? I just want to make sure that he's got enough to grab all the green fruit. Enough storage capacity. I suppose I should be bringing you actually with us. Uh, Silas, go ahead and bring your bodyguard. And you know what, Trill? Uh, hold on. Put down Trill. And true, we're gonna make this official. It's Facebook official now. Uh, I'm gonna actually just... If you can do those other jobs, then yeah, that's great. Staying close, but you're like... Okay, you're, I mean, I guess you're technically in the same building. Uh, let's go to the smuggler's bar. We'll see what we can find there. Then... Where was Igoran, folks? They're actually not moving anymore. Keep on going up here. I'm pretty sure that this is it. I'm like 90% sure that we're just about at Narco's Trap. Because I know it's near the Holy Nation's uh, cities, and I know that they have like a city, I think, like right here. Yeah, here we go. Narco's Trap. Perfect. Are we... I think this is regular rain. It's not even acid rain. Cool. Alright. That looks good. Um, so let's see... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we can start kind of scouting it out. And then that means the next episode we should be able to actually assault this. Oh man. Finally. It's almost happening. From what I've heard, this place is quite an interesting place. It's like a holy nation. They've like built like a little outpost right by this uh, evil tower. It's an ancient lab. It's actually pretty cool if you think about it. Like they found this like um, place with like ancient knowledge, and they've gone and. Uh, built a little base around it to keep people from going in there. <laughs> keep them from discovering, like, the truth about technology. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can get a pretty good idea of what this is going to be like when we actually attack it. I just want to get a little bit closer so that I can, before we move in on the next episode can just kind of check out what we're dealing with like harpoon wise and whatnot come on yeah there's a bunch of dudes with like harpoons and crossbows it's just mounted crossbows but still i think those can one hit kill us we'll need to be smart with how we attack this place i mean honestly we just need to get in there so we could just like sneak in i think but in any case, I think we're going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.